There are a few things that really infuriates me about ignorant people. One of them are man-made climate change deniers. My god, fuck those guys. And fuck Trump for not thinking it's a real thing. I believe I will make a video on climate change in the future, but for now I'm going to make a video about the second type of ignorant people I hate. The people who deny the science of vaccination. These are people who literally make shit up. What the fuck? And it seems as if they just ignore all the science you present to them. They don't fucking know what vaccinations even do. Usually these are just people who are regular parents speaking out against vaccination. But today we have a doctor. Oh, except he has an ND, which stands for naturopathic degree. And if you don't know, naturopathic medicine is an alternate medicine that focuses on healing the body through natural and self-healing means. It's pseudoscience, and that's all I have to say for now. Let's get on with the video. I'm not afraid of my child dying from infectious disease because my child has a healthy immune system. Right, so let's say for some reason your child got African trypanosomiasis, aka the African sleeping sickness. You're gonna, you know, not worry about it because your child's immune system can fight it off? Except this parasite, a protozoa, sort of has the ability to evade our immune system's response. Normally our bodies will detect the variant surface glycoproteins present on the protozoa, which our B cells will then release antibodies to target the disease. However, this protozoa has the ability to change its surface glycoproteins, and as it keeps changing, the body will have to re-recognize the glycoproteins every time. This cycle continues, but because these surface glycoproteins are under constant change, the immune system cannot fight off the disease. So tell me, would you trust your child's immune system then? I mean, sure, the chances of him getting that specific disease is pretty rare, and you wouldn't get it unless you go to a rural area, but this is just a hypothetical situation. My name is Dr. H. I'm the Executive Community Director for the Energetic Health Institute, and I'm also a very concerned father. Anti-vaxxers love to say that they're also a father or mother to some child, because that's supposed to make it more relatable to their audience, which is supposedly parents. However, I myself am not going to employ these techniques just to make my arguments more convincing. I let the science speak for itself. And when you say something like, I'm a father of a child, I assume you're going to use anecdotes as an argument, and I'm sorry, that doesn't hold up. One of the things that we have to do as parents is kind of free ourselves from the fear of our child dying. <laughs> I'm not afraid of my child dying from a infectious disease because my child has that healthy immune system. Really? You're actually talking about small things here, such as the flu or the whooping cough. If your child ever gets exposed to something more serious, then you're going to worry about your child dying. Because when we were first going through the process and he was in the womb and everybody is bombarding you with all this information, there is all this fear of you have to do everything right. And part of that doing things right includes getting your child vaccinated. Yes, get your fucking child vaccinated. It's so important. And it's not just for your child, it's for herd immunity too. The reason your child probably didn't come down with any serious illness until now is probably because he hasn't been exposed to anything serious. I used this analogy in a previous video, but not getting vaccinated is like riding a bike without a helmet. Sure, you don't need the helmet to ride your bike successfully. You don't need your helmet if you don't fall. But once something does happen and you do fall, you're going to crack your fucking skull open unless you had a helmet on. Same idea with vaccinations. Sure, you don't need it if you never get the fatal disease, but once you do, you're fucked. And I didn't buy into that. Ah, <sighs> of course you didn't. And I didn't buy into that because I looked up some prospectuses from some of these drug manufacturers and you see that they talk about robust sales and how proud they are of the growth of their vaccine departments. They're not proud of them because they're helping children be healthier. They're proud of them because they're helping those companies make money. My god, the pharmaceutical and drug companies make fucking pennies off vaccinations. They make so little. That's why vaccines are so dirt cheap. They're not making anything. There's no incentive like that here. And that's what I hate about a lot of people who deny modern medicine. Oh, Oh, the doctors just want to make money. Oh, the pharmaceutical companies just want to make money. Blah, blah, blah. All a bunch of horseshit. You know, vaccines are so unprofitable that a lot of healthcare providers lose money for it. In addition, a whole bunch of vaccine manufacturers stopped making vaccines because it was generating no revenue. So your claim about these companies making money can just go fuck itself. And I'm sorry to say to these vaccine manufacturers, my child is not a profit center for you and he's definitely not gonna be a profit center for you for the rest of his life. Companies make vaccines because they're extremely essential to our society's well-being. There's so little money to be made off here. So what you have to first day say as a parent is let me step back from all the bombarding that goes on and all the judgment and all the fear that they want you to buy into if you don't do everything their way. 
The fear? Hell yeah, we're fearful. We're fearful of your child contracting measles and then giving it to someone because those people are physically unable to get vaccines and then spreading it to more people. Do you even know how vaccinations work? We are experiencing a few hundred cases of measles per year, which is the highest ever in 20 years because people like you are spreading bullshit and causing others not to vaccinate. We have eliminated diseases because of vaccinations and people like you are bringing them back. And the moment that you liberate yourself from that fear, it gives you an opportunity to do your own research. Except people are literally too uneducated. The internet is full of this pseudoscience perpetuated by anti-vaxxers. And when people do their own research, they're going to fall into this trap. I definitely would support a law that makes vaccinations mandatory, because sometimes it's easier just to do that than to convince ignorant people such as yourself. It gives you an opportunity to ask the right questions of your doctor. Such as the question, am I retarded? To find the right doctor. You mean find a pseudoscientific doctor that supports your presupposition about medicine. Oh look, I don't understand medicine and I'm going to find a doctor that equally doesn't understand medicine. Perhaps an ND doctor. It gives you an opportunity to do research on is, you know, are there, is there a downside? to my child being vaccinated. Research? A Google search can lead you to some pretty sketchy pseudoscientific websites. I recommend at least going to high school to develop the proper knowledge. Absolutely there is. Fuck you. Do I need to be concerned about that? Absolutely you do. Sure, parents should be aware of any potential negative effects of vaccinations, except that you almost never will get anything detrimental. The worst thing that could happen is having an autoimmune inflammation reaction, which by the way can be treated, and this is so rare that you're much more likely to be struck by lightning. Do I need to be in control of deciding what's best for my child? You're damn right you do. Because that's what being a parent is, making decisions in the best interests of our children. Except often you don't know what's best for your children. Most parents don't have medical degrees. They don't know the science behind vaccinations. And I would explain the science here, but I've already done that in a past video. So instead, I'll leave a link here to that segment. I know it's an old video and I wasn't experienced back then, but I think I explained it decently, I guess. And for us and my child, it's being vaccine free. Be right back. I'm going to go punch a wall. Now, let me tell you a story. My child is about to be 11 in a couple of days. He's top of his class, he's straight A student, he's missed a grand total in six years. He's missed a grand total of four days of school due to illness. Anti-vaxxers love doing this. Look, I didn't vaccinate and my child is healthy, therefore you don't need vaccinations. Fuck that dude, as I said earlier, just wait until some horrible disease like hepatitis comes along, you'll wish you weren't so stupid. Now, I'm not wishing that your child gets that because your child hasn't done anything wrong, he doesn't know any better. But you, you, man screw you. I feel like the one argument that anti-vaxxers like to fall back on is just giving personal anecdotes. Those give so little value to science, stop it. And the reason he's only missed four days in six years isn't because he was vaccinated, he wasn't vaccinated. It's because we gave him the foods, we gave him the nutrients that his immune system needs to live a healthy and happy life. I hate it when people perpetuate the idea that your immune system's health is entirely under your control. It's not that easy. Sure, there are things you can do to help your immune system a bit, but you can't boost it to a point where it can completely replace vaccinations, especially not through just eating whatever nutrients. Now, I would love for you to give us some specific examples here, but I have a feeling you're not gonna do that. Are kids going to get sick? Yes, that's what we want. You want your kid to get sick, but the key is that you don't want them to be sick for long. I mean, yeah, sure, I guess you don't really want your children to be sick for long. But the thing is, there are diseases that your immune system just can't fight off, or that your immune system would take a long time. Those are where vaccinations come in to prevent these illnesses. Prevention is so much cheaper than treatment. And by the way, adding on to your argument that companies just want to make money from vaccines, you know they would probably make more money by not distributing vaccines and just treating you when you get sick from the diseases. So how do you know if your kid's immune system is healthy? Because I think that should really be the next question. And it's very simple. Did your kid get sick? Yes. Did he recover very quickly? Yes. Your kid has a healthy immune system. I mean, there are better ways to measure immunity. Why wait until you get sick before knowing if your child has a good immune system or not? That's pretty fucked up. Not to mention very unreliable. If you want to get your immune function tested, go get your lymphocytes counted, such as your mast cells. Mast cell counts are a pretty good way to measure immunity in the lab when testing on animals. But of course, you can test all sorts of lymphocytes and different ones will tell you different things. Or what you can do is just get vaccinated. That's the simplicity of it all. 
If your kid is out for a week, if he's sick for a week, two weeks, not a healthy immune system. We gotta get some nutrients in there. We gotta get that little baby healthy, okay? Holy shit, I can see your naturopathic degree shining through. It's not that easy, dude. But if the baby fights off the infection as a healthy immune system should, you don't have to worry about infectious diseases. Except for all those diseases that your immune system can't easily fight. So what I'm asking you to do as a parent and as a doctor is to liberate yourself from the fear so that you can give yourself the opportunity to do your research, talk to people who are in the know, talk to people like me who are raising very healthy vaccine-free kids and strengthen your belief that you can do it too. And I think we've heard enough of this guy. Man, this response is really tiring. I felt like I was repeating myself a lot. Anyway, as a final message, please get your child vaccinated. It will help your child. It will help everyone else through herd immunity. Put on that helmet before you fall off that bike. Because after you crack your head on the sidewalk, it will be way too late to put it on.